told this before because I, I'll never forget it. And I, I don't think it was, in, it was in the series, not in the movie, but there was a lot of um, hospital bed stuff, remembering, dreaming, and, and uh, some orderlies or something coming in to hold me down, and I was getting a lot of bruises, and they, because I was really fighting, they were really holding me down hard, and he just kept doing it, and doing it. And they, they felt, I think he felt bad, because he, he said, oh, I know this is really hard. I, I, okay, I, I can't do David Lynch <laughs> He said, I know this is really hard on you, and you're really getting hurt. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This, this piece of gum, I'm going to put it right here. And he put it up on, like, stuck on the camera, like a piece of gum. And he put it right here on the camera. And when we're done, you can smell it. <laughs> Of what Laura needs to do to survive, you know, within herself. 
which is you know which is slightly uh, you know a slightly different perspective from these you know these spirits in a physical location that you know are, are shows up when Jupiter and Saturn are in you know what I mean there's there's a certain level of psychological development that um, I think adds a little something different from what the show was and I'm curious if any of you have perspectives on that. Yeah, for me, I mean, that was that was what it was. Whatever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it would also be interesting. Did, did, did you guys feel that? Did you did you think that was a, a contemporary view, if that's a good way to put it? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Speaking of which, how many saw the film for the first time tonight? Wow. 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 Nice. Well, I like you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we, uh, we you're talking about um, like Bob, and uh, uh, he's haunted many, many dreams. But Frank Silva is frequently referred to as a very sweet guy. So I, I'd love to know if you guys have any favorite stories of Frank. Um, we'll go well, uh, just quickly. Um, also, I had got food poisoning last night, so I'm going to tell the story. Then I'm going to run outside and get air. <laughs> and this has been awesome. Um, Frank Silva is, um, was uh, one of the most important people in my lives. I considered him one of my greatest friends. I got very lucky, met him when I was my father's assistant. Um, and Frank turned me on to the apartment building he lived in, which was an old hotel. And uh, he said, come on over, you know, you gotta fucking check this place out. And uh, it was the most beautiful apartment still to this day that I've ever had. And. Uh, we made furniture together out of um, particle board, foam, Elmer's glue, canvas, and a staple gun. And stayed up for two days straight, totally sober, drinking Coca-Cola, uh, making furniture. And uh, that's just one of my favorite stories. But Frank could giggle like nobody's business, and he would come get you on the other side of Mars if you were in trouble. Um, I loved him very much. And uh, it, was a, it was a miraculous thing that he ended up being Bob, uh, because he is one of the sweetest, yeah. most genuinely kind, <laughs> uh, creepy looking guys ever. <laughs> and thanks you guys, I'm just gonna run off. Yeah. 
starts, he lowered, and then David flipped out, and he got even more scared. He was like, you know, I'm really screwed up and up, whatever. And, and David says, no, this is good. He goes, right. don't go all the way away. Keep your head up a little. Up, you know, and he goes, you know, and he starts to go like this, and he goes, now make a mean face. <laughs> and he goes, that's it. You know, that's what we're going to do. Make him the spirit or whatever. But that's how I think that's how Bob initially got, got his part. You know, again, without reading, just kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but, 